Welcome back to my channel, Paragogi. I'm back to you with another educational video. And today, we are going to be covering up a science topic. Yes, previously, we have covered so many grammatical topics like prepositions, its activity, along with present continuous tense, positive, negative, and we have done one more story in Wish Fables series. But in today's video, we are going to cover up our science topic that is materials. This video is going to be very helpful for grade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for primary as well as for the senior people who want to gain a general concept about different kinds of materials. So without delaying it any further, let's start with the video. Okay, as I told you earlier, the topic we will be discussing in this video is materials. The objectives of our topic are we will discuss different kinds of materials along with it some natural and man-made materials. What is actually a material or materials? Everything around us is made up of materials. That means everything on this earth comprises of materials each and every object all the objects which we use in our daily life are made up of certain materials now we are going to discuss about our first objective that is different kinds of materials these are the different kinds of materials like wood, fabric, plastic, glass, paper, leather, metal. Now, as we all know that wood is used to make different objects, as wood itself is a material, and the objects which we made from wood are table, chair, cupboard, or you can say some furniture from fabric we can make cloth bags from paper we can make our notebooks tissue paper from glass we can make magnifying glass windows jugs glasses spectacles from plastic we can make toys some crockery from leather, we can make shoes, bags. From metal, we can make keys and many other materials. Now we are going to discuss about properties of materials. As each and every object has a different function, so definitely the properties of these materials vary. They are different from each other. Let's recall the materials which we have discussed right now. All objects we use are made up of materials. Now we are revising the materials names and these are wood, glass, metal, plastic, fabric, paper and rubber. As I told you earlier that each and every object, every object makes up of different materials. So materials have different properties. We can say like this, properties of materials help us to know why different objects are made from certain materials. Now we are going to discuss about different materials one by one. The first material is transparent materials. As we have studied in our previous classes also, in our previous topics we have discussed that transparent materials 
are those materials which allow light to pass through them. In simple words, we can say transparent materials are those materials through which we can see easily. Like you can say a glass, a window, a jug, a magnifying glass. Our next material is opaque materials. Opaque materials are those materials through which light cannot pass or you can say you cannot see through them. For example, wood, metal, all these are the opaque materials. Now, in this picture, we have some examples of transparent and opaque objects. Let's discuss about transparent objects first of all. The first picture is of a magnifying glass. Second, glasses. Third, window. Fourth, beaker. Now, opaque objects examples are bricks, aluminium foil, door, and books. All these are the examples of opaque objects. Now let's have a brainstorming. Now let's see how much you guys have understood. What are transparent materials? Yes, think, exactly. Transparent materials are those materials which allow light to pass through them or you can see through them easily. Now, what are opaque materials? Yes, opaque materials are those materials which do not allow any light to pass through them or you cannot see through them. Very good. Now, some other types of materials are waterproof materials. Waterproof materials are those materials that do not soak up water. Soak up means absorb water. So they are called as non-absorbent because they do not absorb water like a plastic ball, a plastic bottle, an umbrella. The next is absorbent materials. Absorbent materials are those materials that soak up water. Hence, we say that they are not waterproof. For example, a grocery bag, a shirt, a towel. These are the absorbent materials. Now, we have some pictures of non-absorbent, that means waterproof materials and some absorbent materials. Let's see non-absorbent or waterproof materials first. We have a raincoat, rubber boots, umbrella, bottle. In absorbent materials, we have a notebook, socks, sponge, and tissue paper. Let's have some brainstorming. What are waterproof objects? Yes, make a guess. Right, waterproof materials are those materials which do not soak up water or we can say which do not absorb water. So they are called as non-absorbent. What are absorbent materials? Yes, absorbent materials are those materials which can absorb water so they are not waterproof we have some other types of materials and the first one is over here magnetic materials magnetic materials like iron and some kind of steel are attracted to magnets so we can simply say magnetic materials are those materials which are attracted towards magnets. Next is non-magnetic materials. Non-magnetic materials are those materials 
which are not attracted towards magnets. Now, let's recall the concept that magnetic materials are attracted towards the magnet and non-magnetic materials are not attracted towards the magnets. Some other materials are flexible materials and rigid materials. First of all, flexible materials. Flexible materials like cloth and paper are easy to bend. That means we can easily change the shape of flexible materials like we have given the examples over here, cloth and paper. Rigid materials. Rigid materials like glass and concrete cannot be bent easily. Or we can say rigid materials are those materials which can't be bent. Some examples of non-flexible that means rigid materials and some flexible materials are First of all, we are going to see rigid or non-flexible materials. The first picture is key, chair, blocks, spoon. And some examples of flexible materials are a soft toy, belt, straw, rubber bands. Last but not the least, we are having hard or soft materials. Strong and hard materials like rocks and stones are difficult to scratch or break. Some things can be hard to touch but easy to break. For example, we can take a hard object like a glass jar. A glass jar, when we touch it, it seems to be hard but it's weak. If it is dropped, it will break. Some examples of hard and soft materials are first of all hard materials, stone, was, hammer, remote control. Some examples of soft materials are some soft star like you can say plush toys, feathers, tall, pillow. Quits time. Now we have certain questions I will ask you and you will answer me one by one. The first question is which material is used to make a table and why? Think guys, see the structure of the table? It seems to be as a hard one. Yes, you are right. Wood is used as it is hard and strong. Next question, which material is used to make a window and why? Let's make a guess. As you see, we can easily see outside the window. So, we are going to see that which material is used to make a window. Yes, glass is used as it is transparent and has a smooth surface. Next question is, which material is used to make a key? As you see, key is made from metal. Why? Because it's a hard one and rigid. Rigid means it is not easy to bend a key. Last question is, which material is used to make a tissue? Let's think about it. Yes, paper is used as it is soft and can absorb water easily. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like the video, do subscribe my channel and press the like button. And to be updated, press the bell icon. 
If you want to watch some other videos regarding different topics, do write in the comment section so I can make some more educational and more interesting videos for you. Thank you.